hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Kanisha over here we do coupon and shopping shopping hauls DIY vlogs and more welcome and I hope that you would consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to my returning subscribers and supporters you guys are amazing thank you guys so much in today's video guys this is part three of my couponing series and um, today we're gonna be talking about loyalty um, store loyalty programs so there's two of them that I'm gonna talk about and one of them I'm more familiar with but I'm just gonna talk about both of them either way if you see me looking down that's because I have my notes here just so that, I, that I'm not all over the place okay so the first program that I'm gonna talk about is air miles so um to get one of this card you need to go to airmiles.ca you make an account they when you um when you sign up they're gonna give you a digital card so that you can use in the in the meantime and then they're gonna mail this one to you with to the address that you provide um there's a bunch of stores that you can earn um air miles you when you when you go to their uh, their website you're gonna see all of the stores but those that i know of is um are, are that i am familiar with is the children place metro sobeys foodland shell the gas the gas store the gas place gas station sorry <laughs> um and um lcbl so yeah so um basically for every um twenty dollar that you spend you earn one mile but um when they have like bonus offers you can rock up the miles that way um for the grocery stores you need to link your car to their sites so they have um like a um you can download metro that's it's my it says my metro the app is my metro and i think it's my sobis as well and basically you put your card number in there and then they're gonna send you personal offers and they like each week they also have points in the flyers so you just check your flyers and you um load your offers you load your offers and that's how you're gonna help rock up your points at shop um, children place you um, if you're shopping online you have to put your there's a space for you to put your card number and if you're shopping in the stores you have to give them your card so that they can either scan it or put in your um, put your number in um so for every 95 miles that you earn that you can redeem for ten dollars um something else that i wanted to mention again you can choose between um dream miles and air miles and the difference with that is that three miles you can um redeem for items like luxury items like they have like watches and um just stuff just stuff like that and then the cash mall you can just redeem in stores for groceries and or gas and stuff like that so um if you shop at any of these stores that's something that you might want to look into um so that's for the air miles um the next one that i'm gonna be talking about which i think is bay is the pc optimum um points program and a little fun fact about the pc optimum program so before we had um shoppers had the optimum points program and loblaws banner stores had pc optimum program but Loblaws bought shoppers and they just more merged the two um, points programs together and that's where PC Optimum program was um, was born so little fun fact yes guys so first and foremost you need 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 to get the app you need to make an account to make an app get the app sorry um, go to your store any um, shoppers or Loblaws um, chain stores and the way you know that the Loblaws store they sell no name items so any store that sells no name items um, no name brand items you can get one of these cards there um, and with the card you need to link your your physical card to your account and basically what that does is let's say one day you call so you don't have access to your phone because when you make the app they're gonna give you a, a digital card like this is my digital card right here 
but let's say you don't have access to your car your phone that day let's say somebody is dead or you put it in the car then you can use your um your digital card but you need no physical card sorry a physical card but you need to link it to your account and the way to link it you just go to your account and it says manage cards you go to add a card and it, when you press add a card it says link pc optimum you click on that and you're gonna you're going to put the number that's on your on this card in where the slot is and then press link pc optimum and then that's done your card is linked um something that i'm going to i'm going to tell you to do, encourage you to do so but right in the manage card when you click on your cards you can you you should you should put your physical cards as earn only earn only you can they can they can earn and redeem points but put them as at as earn only and the reason for this is let's say you lost your card somebody could find your card and just go redeem all the points trust me it it's happened like multiple multiple times um yeah so your physical card put them as earn only so that you know you you give yourself a little bit more protection that's that um each week they send you offers you must open your app in order for your office to be loaded you must open your app for your office to be loaded um yes so let's talk about let's talk about um okay let's just finish up on that but talking about the app each week you get you get offers right each week you get offers um on wednesdays at 10 30 so from 10 30 until um one minute to 12 you you can see your offers you can see the offers that's coming in as well as the offers that you had for the pre the week the previous week right so what we do is if like say something is coming on sale that has points on it or something that's coming on sale that we have coupons for and we have the the offer we tend to save the offer for the next week hope that made se made sense so let's say this week so the um your points is valid from thursday so thursday 12 a.m to wednesday um 11 59 p.m so let's say i have an offer between that time space and then i see something coming up i can save my offer and the way you do that is you just go you find the offer that you're looking for you click on it and at the bottom it says do not show again so let's say you have an offer for something that you never ever buy something that you never ever gonna buy you can press do not show me again so that we didn't know not to show you that offer and you can get something new and then it says save for next week this one says save it's also saying save for next week. so you click on that one and it's gonna push it it's gonna push it for the next week um yeah so let's talk about um pc optimum at shoppers so at shoppers you're going to get 15 points for every dollar you spend so that's called your base points so every time you go to shoppers and you scan your card you're gonna get these points right so 15 dollars 15 points on every dollar right um if there there is points on an item or if you have point if you have a personal offer of something and you buy those you're gonna get those points also plus the base points we when I say we I'm referring to couponers um, tend to shop at shoppers when they have like points program sometimes they have like stuff like 20 on the points or they have spent 30 get 10 which is the best or sometimes we have 25 get 10 better um, we tend to shop at shoppers during these programs right and that program sorry these offers we tend to shop doing these offers um, if you go to shoppers to shop during one of these points offers so let's say you have 20 times the points when you spend 50 you have to make sure that you spend 50 dollars before tax so it's 50 um it's going to be 20 times the points when you spend 50 before taxes so make sure um what we do 
we tend to do our calculations so we make a list of stuff that we're gonna buy when we get to the store either we either we have a calculator or we use our phones so everything that's going into a car so let's say you want to spend 50 only or in case okay let's let's continue um let's say we want to want to spend 50 50 dollars right 50 dollars is the budget so we want to spend 50 dollars we go to the store you make sure you pick up stuff that's and you went 50 spend 50. can't be when you when you get 20 points when you spend when you when you when it specifies a 20 point when you spend 30 it cannot be 29.99 it has to be 30 dollars if you get to 29 if you get so listen, if you spend 30 and it gets a 29 29.99 add something for a dollar because or else you won't get the points um you scan your card after you get to your threshold you scan your card if you have coupons then you use your coupons never use your coupons before you scan your card because if you do your subtotal is going to be affected so your subtotal is a total before taxes you scan your card which do your your threshold you scan your card and if you have coupon now is the time that you give them your card your, your coupons so what that does the coupon is being taken off of your total but your subtotal is not being affected so um there's the system reads the coupon as as a, um, a legal a legal tender so that is something that you should um um look into and i'll try to like i have many many um examples of my um me shopping and shoppers i'll link a couple videos down below and then i'll try to do one um sometimes just to you know just as a, an example and i'll try to record the whole thing so that you guys can see what i'm talking about yeah so scan your card then use your coupons that way your subtotal remain the same so you get your points for the subtotal because you sp you spend that but then you don't you don't necessarily pay that out of pocket right you don't necessarily pay that out of pocket because the coupon is gonna help bring your total down that's and that's something that you should do um yeah so let's talk about pc optimum at the other Loblaw store so Loblaw, other Loblaw store like i say any store that sell no name items you don't get points for every dollar that you spend you only get points if you have a personal offer for a product or if the in store have points on these products right so that's the difference you don't get points on every um for every time you every dollar that you spend on the other stores also um you you may not you may not get like the 20 times the points and stuff like that you don't get these offers at these other stores sometimes you may get a spend a hundred get um 10 10 000 points or twenty thousand points now and then um you may get um the store like superstore sometimes offers spend 225 dollars and get twenty five thousand points back which is equivalent to 25 dollars that's that um yeah you should always always scan your card always always scan your card even if you don't have an offer you should always scan your card because the, the the system is gonna learn your shopping pattern and it's a uh, shopping habit and it's gonna give you points for not points offers for stuff that you do buy right so that's something to that is something to look into um when it comes to redeeming points it's different at shoppers also when you redeem points at shoppers um no first of all i should say you can redeem um ten thousand points for ten dollars yes so, so from ten ten thousand points that's your that, that's where you can start redeeming from ten thousand points up to five hundred points in one transaction so and you can redeem in the incre increments of ten um when it comes to shoppers you don't earn points except if you have an install offer let's say you have you're gonna buy redeem for a product and that product have points on there for that week then if you redeem points you're gonna get those points i hope that that makes sense 
let's say you have an offer you have an offer for a product and that offer says spend eight dollars and get four thousand points or spend four dollars and get eight hundred points or something like that right if you redeem points you would not get those offer because technically the system will really does you did not spend money out of your pocket to use points right so you you only get points if it's a in-store in-store offer if you have an offer that says spend x get x you don't get that if you redeem points and i hope that that makes sense at Loblo the other stores you can spend and earn in the same transaction so let's say you have um let's say superstore have the offer one week say spend 225 dollars and get spend 225 dollars and get twenty five thousand points you can you can you can redeem you can redeem the whole thing and then still you get the points you still get the points and the difference between shoppers also you have to when you redeem you have to pay your taxes you have to pay the taxes out of pocket so it doesn't matter if you're gonna redeem if you if your bill comes up to um say 160 but five dollars of it is taxes you could only redeem um 150 you cannot you cannot use the points of paper tax you have to put that out of your pocket unlike the other stores you can use the points to pay for taxes so let's say your entire bill came up to 200 dollars if you have 20 dollars in points you redeem the whole 200 dollars that's something else that's something that's a little comparison between them um yeah and then at shoppers like it gets a little cheeky when you're gonna re when you're redeeming and using coupon um so when redeeming and using the coupons you have to redeem the points first and then use your coupons yeah so you have to determine like say let's say you have um like I, I i one time i went and i used my coupon first and when i was trying to redeem it wouldn't the system would not allow them to redeem after so you have to oh is it the other way around you have to redeem first yeah i think you have to redeem the they have to redeem first and then they put the coupons they ha, they put the coupons in when you go to the store they're gonna they're gonna tell you because they know but I, I believe that's the way you redeem first and then use your and then use your coupons. So something that that I the last time I went I was getting a little trouble. So the guy had to cancel it. He had to cancel it and then um, he had to cancel it and then do it over. Oh, is, was it um, guys? Like I'm 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 really confused. I, I don't remember. If anybody know, let let's know down below. Let's know down below. But it's it's. <laughs> I, I I believe it's redeem points first and then get and then use your coupons but then again it could be use your coupons and then redeem the points like they're gonna tell you they're gonna tell at the store and I'll find out I'll find when I go to the store today I'll find out and then I'll put it in my description yeah so I'm sorry about that <laughs> I thought I knew but no I'm second guessing myself so yes but um you can use coupons when redeeming and right like at um superstore so let's say you have let's say you have um you can you can you can use a coupon and you can use your coupons anytime so let's say you have but i would make sure that you subtract the amount of coupons that you have so let's say you go to superstore and you and you um your bill came up to 200 and you have 20 dollars in coupon so you give them the coupon first and then you just um tell them you want to redeem points for the rest and that's that um yeah you can redeem for either groceries you can redeem for electronics guys i bought ps4 i bought tv camera computer um headphones games for the consoles like the possibilities are endless and now that they took it to 500 like that's the best 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 so um yeah when it comes to within point within points of shoppers something else that i wanted to say i know sometimes that we just have to we just have to redeem our points but um try your best to redeem when they have their mega redemption when they have the mega redemption where the points is 
um, is worth more, right? That's when you should redeem your points. Actually, that's the best time to redeem. I should say the best time to redeem your points. I Guys, I know that this video is a little bit lengthy, but I just want to make sure that I had all this information in there for you guys. Um, like I said, I would clarify that thing about the redeeming points of shoppers and put it down in my description. Um, yes, so make sure that you load your offers, make sure that you check in your flyers, make sure that you're scanning your cards all the time. Make sure you do your calculation, guys. Very, very, very important. Make sure you do your calculation um, because sometimes you're missing points. You're missing points and you have to do an inquiry. You can either do it from your app or you can call them to get your points. You can um, you can chat. There's three ways you can do an inquiry. You can chat with them on the app. You can do an inquiry. On the app like when you go to the points and you click on transaction and it says um, like if you click on a transaction it, it just gonna ask you missing points in this transaction you click that and it put in the missing points right um, also you can you can um, you can chat with them in the app you can chat with them in the app I'm trying to find where that is back you can chat with them in the app so just click on account and then you here it says live chat so you click on that and you call you you chat with them right there or you can call them you just um what i do all the time is google for the number um pc optimum contact number you call that number and you explain about your points and stuff and usually you get it without no um no big not a big deal you get it like easily but you have to make sure that you're calling in for the you're buying the correct items that they have points on because sometimes that could be an issue and sometimes it's just a glitch in the system so um i'm gonna end this video right here if there's anything that i did not mention and then you know about please um leave it down below if there's any question that you have about anything that i say leave it down below and i would um if i if if i could answer it in just me responding or if i have to make a whole new video i'll do that thank you guys for watching um give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below guys because that really help the channel the engagement really help the channel um thank you guys so much and i hope that this information has been received i'm gonna go um did I say give this video a thumbs up already? I did deny, but I'm going to say it again. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're new here and like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Be safe, be kind, love, and forgive easy. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Later, guys.